Hi everyone, I'm Sky. I'm a wildlife photographer from the UK. And in this video, I'm gonna show you from start to finish how I edit my photos using Luminar Neon. I recently took a trip to Scomer Island off the coast of Wales, and I had the chance to photograph some of the UK's most incredible seabirds, puffins. It was such a special moment, and I knew I had to create something with one of the photos I took on the day. So here's the raw photo that I'm working with straight off camera. It's okay, I think it's looking a bit flat, but there's definitely potential here though, and we're gonna bring that out right now. The first thing that I do is I go over to the Crop AI tool, and I use the Composition AI, which works out the best composition for my image. Here is perfect. It's got the puffin on the right hand side, and then we've got the grass verge going down the left hand side, corner to corner, which looks really, really pleasing to the eye. Before anything else, the first thing that I touch is the exposure, which is down in the Develop tab. Now up here, I've got my histogram, which sorts out from darks to lights, right here I think around 0.2 is okay. I don't need to go all the way up to five, around 0.2. 0.22, that's perfect. Okay, with the highlights, I want to bring these down a little bit, and the same with the shadows. The shadows are really, really prominent here. You can see them here in the grass verge, and also in the background as well. There's also the smart contrast, that if I brought it all the way over, you can see that it creates a really, really strong contrast with the image but we want to do it subtly. We don't want to make the picture over edited. So just around 20 will do perfectly. And if I give you a quick before and after, you can see it's already doing a really good job. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm coming over to the curve section and I want to create two dots and just create a slight little S curve in the image. Now, just from this, we can see that the highlights are a bit too strong. You can see in the puffins fur there. So I'm just going to bring that down slightly and then with the shadows, I'm just gonna raise them again. So there we go, I think that looks like a really, really nice image. I may decrease the smart contrast as well. We only wanna do subtle changes here. So before and after, I think that looks really, really nice at the moment. So once I've done that, the next thing I wanna do is come over to the Structure AI tab. If I wanna bring it all the way to 100, you can see it just adds texture to the puffins fur and also to the background as well. We don't wanna overdo it, we wanna make subtle changes again. So we'll bring it to around 10, and then we'll bring the boost up just a little bit. If we brought the boost all the way up, you can see it adds a lot of texture. You can really see it in the puffins belly over here. But again, subtle changes, so we'll keep it about five. So before and after, you can really, really tell if I zoom in close, before, after. So I'm really liking where this is going, but ultimately we wanna bring the viewer's eye onto the puffin. And the way you can do that is through masking. So if you come over to the develop tab again, it's all reset for you. You go over to masking, linear gradient, and this will create a gradient across the image. If you just drag up from the bottom left corner and you go to adjustments and bring the exposure down slightly and also bring the shadows down, you can see it's darkening this part of the image, leading your eyes to the center of the image, what I want you to see, which is the puffing ultimately. So before and after really really bringing that focus to the puffin that is what we need from this image next thing i'd like to do is edit the hue of the greens i think the greens sometimes when you've shot out and about the greens look a bit off so the best thing you can do go over to the color tab go to hsl and go to hue here you can edit all the colors in the image i want to bring the greens a bit closer to the yellow so i'll try and drag it over to the left here and then I'm also going to bring up the saturation just to make it pop a little bit more than before and after. I'm really, really liking how that's looking there. And then finally, sometimes when I'm using the contrast tools, sometimes it doesn't really give me the desired effect that I want from the image. So what I'd like to do is come over to the super contrast area where you can edit the highlights, midtones, and shadows all independently from one another, which is really, really good. I'm just gonna increase the highlights contrast. If I brought it all the way across, you can really tell on the puff in here. So we still wanna keep it really bright. So we'll just have it about, I think eight perfect there. The midtones, you can really see it's affecting the grass in the background. So I'll have that a bit higher. I'll have it on 15, 14. Yeah, that's perfect. And then with the shadows, the shadows, I think I might leave it really, really low. I'm like maybe about a three. Yeah, that looks really, really nice there. Okay, and the last place we're gonna come up to is the Color Harmony tab. And if we come over to the Color Harmony tab and we go to Color Contrast and we just boost it a little bit, 
let's make it around 10. It really brings out the colors, but it really keeps it natural as well. It doesn't look over edited in my opinion. I think it looks natural and it keeps the theme of the image. So that's my usual editing process from start to finish. I hope this video has helped when it comes to editing your wildlife images. We started with a flat image and used as few simple tools in Luminar Neo to bring out more clarity, depth and focus, especially around the subject. If you found this helpful, feel free to like the video, drop a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. Thank you for watching.